Senator Ted Kennedy lost his battle with brain cancer today. Once diagnosed with his type of tumor, the prognosis is grim. Doctors say about half the patients don't survive a year. A brain surgeon in North Texas told me tonight that type of brain cancer has frustrated doctors for years. We've been looking at this tumor for 50 years, still don't know what causes it. Dr. Rob Dickerman is a board-certified neurosurgeon in Plano. He says Senator Ted Kennedy's cancerous brain tumor, clinically called a glioblastoma, is one of the most common aggressive tumors that invade the brain and have stumped doctors for years. There are virtually no symptoms until it's too late. They present just like Mr. Kennedy presented, seizure, or they come to the, the ER with a bad, bad headache, and then I come up and tell them you've got a brain tumor. So typically, they have no idea. Senator Kennedy had a successful surgery to remove most of the tumor, but doctors and patients know they can't get it all. So a typical tumor is invaded well beyond what we actually see on the MRI and what we see in the operating room. The surgeon tries to resect everything you can without hurting the patient, and then you just hope and pray for the best. Glioblastoma is a terminal disease, but Dr. Dickerman says patients can survive longer than the typical 12 to 18 month diagnosis. I do have patients that have lived four years, five years, and some are still alive. Some people can live well beyond the standard bell curve, so to speak, of 12 to 18 months. Senator Kennedy survived for 15 months. Dr. Dickerman says that's not bad for a man who was 76 years old. He says Senator Kennedy was a fighter. For a dominant parietal lobe tumor, he did very well. He was, up until his late stages, doing very well and still working. Dr. Dickerman says a cure is not around the corner, but gene therapy and gene transfer is showing some promise.